Hey everybody, what's going on? Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at ya from a really crazy day in the intercoastal. And if you're new to the channel, we are a Florida fishing couple that do all kinds of awesome fishing related and outdoors related stuff. Today <laughs> is actually our second pull of the season as far as stone crab traps go. So we're really hoping for the best. The first pull was amazing. I hope you guys watched that video. We got yes. some huge claws and we're hoping for the same today. Yeah, so it's blowing like 20 miles in our face. That was a great day to check the traps and uh, hopefully we can get enough to do a nice catch, clean and cook, have a nice appetizer for dinner. And here's the first trap, let's go. Yeah, it was beautiful on land, but now it's blowing 20 in our face from the north. It's insane, <laughs> insane. Let's go. First trap coming up. We got absolutely, oh, there's something in there. Something in there, let's see. Yep, first trap. Ooh, we got one stone crab in there. One crab. And he might not have a keeper claw, but we're gonna pull him out and take a look. Hey, we got our target species. Yeah, it's not too bad. Skunk. One more time. Yeah. Is that a keeper? It's gonna be close. Probably not. Probably not. Used to be a keeper in the old seasons before they changed it. The other way? This way? Yep. Nope, put it that on the elbow. That is the elbow, it's not even close. There you go. No. Put it on the elbow again. I did it on the elbow. See how she yells at me, guys? It's not even close. Would have been a keeper last season. Hello. Oh, full of eggs. Oh, get rid of it. I didn't even see that. Oh my Lord, you're a bad Crap. person. You didn't even see that. <laughs> all right. Luckily today, the only good thing about checking the traps is I am loaded with all kinds of awesome carcasses. Yeah, so again, we're, uh, so we're today we're doing a catch and cook for in-depth how-to crab. Check out our last video and some other ones in the series. And we'll link them, of course, and, and uh, put the links down in the description below. But get a little more in-depth than today. Hopefully we're gonna get enough to cook. We'll see. Not going so good so far. What are you putting in there? Is that a chicken? Alligator. Alligator. Tilapia, all kinds of stuff. I just like to fill them up pretty good. All right, 10% done. 90 to go. <laughs> go. All right, lots of stuff moving in the second trap. Woo. Lots of growth on the traps already in just a month's time. Actually, less than a month. No, they've been in the water since the fifth. We got one stone, oh, a bunch of little stone crabs. Lots of catfish. Get my catfish pliers or tongs. Get rid of them real quick. Nothing eats catfish, by the way, guys. Not even sharks. Nothing likes these fish. They're just a big nuisance. They don't get much bigger than the ones you see in the traps. I'm surprised they don't get out. We got two different species of stone crabs in here. You can see this lighter color, this darker color one and the lighter color one. The lighter one with the dots on it is a typical stone crab. And then you got ones like this, which always are way smaller than the official stone crab. They're almost like purple, like a purple hue to them. And I've only ever caught a couple keeper claws from them. But they're always usually smaller. Pretty cool. I don't know the different species or the name of them, but there literally is two different kinds. All right, let's pull this guy out. Looks like one claw. Yep, and you can see that's a perfect break. Somebody already harvested that claw this season. That's brand new harvest. And there's actually a little nub growing there. And I can tell that the crusher claw was taken and this claw here is not a keeper, but just goes to show you that this is a renewable resource. And he's in now he's in my trap, but I'm not taking anything from him because somebody took his claw. Let's let him go. All right, that's a good sign. We're having lots of stone crabs so far, but nothing in our boat yet. Number two. Woo! Got stuff moving in this one. And you guys can see here that I put a piece of a zip tie on it, just so I know for my own reference if somebody actually messed with my traps. So far, so good. Seems like it's a lot of catfish. No crabs. Dang it. Um, all right, so we can't find two of our traps, which is really weird but we're on to the next. We think it might be pretty deep with the high tide right now. So that's unfortunate, or they're gone, one of the two. We got something in here. Looks like we got a dead crab and definitely a keeper claw. And look at that little mutton. Nice. Let's get him out, let him go. Always cool to see juvenile muttons in here. Catch them every once in a while. Let them grow big. Beautiful, let him go, buddy. Nice. He's fine. All right, finally, we have a keeper claw. Sweet. 
pretty mad about the other two traps. Yeah, we're not really sure. The one, second one that's missing, we should be able to find. The first one is a little deep. Unless someone but, stole it. Or they're stolen. But so far, the ones that we've checked, nobody's messed with either. So that's Well, we checked five and we only found three. So two of them Check could, three could be messed up. number four. I know, but we can't find two. <laughs> two or it's five. Scene. It's not a good scene. Two or five. We got to keep a claw. Got to keep a claw. Yep. And this one is left-handed like I am. Nice. Special. Yeah. Where's the thing? Where is the thing? Where's the thing? You put it up top right there. Man, this weather's making my nose run. All right. Here you How's you do it? Other side. Well, listen to me. On the thing. Oh, it's a keeper. Yeah. By at least a quarter Boy. inch. Beautiful. And you see that little regrow growing back. Yeah. By next season, that will be a keeper Who claw. Did? Pretty cool. That's another male apron, right? Male. That's the apron. Yes, apron or stomach. Apron. All right. First claw. And we're like basically halfway through the traps. Yeah, because you can't find half of them. Yeah. Not good. Not good, guys. Noish. There you go. Perfect One. Break. One. One claw. That's not enough for Papa's dinner. And unfortunately, oh. we got some dead ones in there. It does happen. They are, they will fight in traps. Yeah, they decay. And it's been about 10 days since we checked our traps. So it just, it happens, unfortunately. Not too often, but it, it does happen. So this guy, I'll just keep and make a stone crab necklace out of. Oh, there you go. There you go. Next trap coming up. Ooh. Ooh, I see some stuff. Nice. Oh, I'm excited. We got some legs in there. Like my I see some legs? Target species. Yes. There is a target species in there for sure. You want to talk about my calves? It's a good time to talk about my calves. Yeah. Brian has the best calves ever and the perfect nose. Can't hear you with this wind. Speak up. Best calves ever and the perfect nose. <laughs> that's true, actually. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's a mama. Yes. We got two. It's about time. Yeah. It's about time. I'm pretty sure that these traps had better pelagics in it too. Oh. I put them on the flat. Nice. We got some keepers. Nice. Oh, look at this monster. Now, They're Darcy actually believes. pretty big. Whoa, that's nice. Beauty. I was just scared to death looking to make sure it wasn't a female with eggs. Oh, yeah. I, gotta get... I wouldn't be able well, to take it. If it was an egg, you throw it right back, back in the water. Yeah, yeah. She's that's got keeper claws. Well, he's got keeper claws on either side. Another crusher claw, left-handed crab. And so is that guy which is really interesting. You want to make someone a bracelet with that crab? That claw? I can. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's tell, let's sell that claw to somebody right now. Yeah, well, this is going to be a size. A size. All right, I grabbed the necklace really quick. So Darcy, so this is going to be a custom, this exact claw. So you guys can buy, she makes these custom claws. Show them, Sizzle. Show them. Oh, I got to show them. She has a claw in her hand. Yeah. So these beautiful, I'll put them B-roll too. So she, Darcy sells these as part of her United States based small business. And uh, she gets these claws from these crabs. And then she, uh, I don't know, she makes them into jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. Fill them with epoxy. And you get this leather. leather polish thing. them on the outside with epoxy, make them nice and shiny. Uh, put one of those eye loops in there and then attach a bale to it and make a necklace out of it. So this particular claw is going to be considered a jumbo size claw on the website when you go there. So make sure you select jumbo when you purchase it because the bigger the claw, the harder it is for us to harvest. We usually get smaller yes. ones. So it's, the, the price is based on the size. Again, jumbo and then just right in there, you want this claw. Or you want to name this crab, Let's I guess. name the crab. Go. Na what's, name it after one of our great Patreons. Okay, go. I, um, I name the next one. How about Peter? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Peter is the name of this claw. All right, Peter, All right guys. Name it Peter H. And so, in, what are they going to say they want? They're going to buy Peter's claw. Is that in, sell, in uh, seller's options? What's the name of that? Area? Note to seller. And note to seller, you're going to say you're buying Peter's claw. Yep, and you Necklace. have to select a jumbo size. Yes. All options. the options are on there. Just again, just make sure you select size jumbo and then select your options out and then write in there Peter's claw. It's simple. All right. Let's break it off. Nice. Or a big break. That's beautiful. That's a All nice right. claw right there. All right, what I was saying before was Darcy, I, I gotta try, I'm trying to get you guys in the sun so you can see our faces. The sun is so harsh right now. And uh, so, oh, so Darcy was saying she likes to, this one had pelagic fish in it, which is fish that swim in the pelagic zone of the ocean, which is the upper ocean, which is like mahi and wahoo and tuna. Fish that swim around all over the place, sailfish. Um, 
And so she thinks those are the best bait, right, Sizzle? Yes, I totally agree. <laughs> Cobia, last time with the last drop, we had a lot of wahoo in there. Really seemed to work. Uh, but so far, that's why I don't use catfish. But anything I can get my hands on, I'm going to put in there just because my boat's broken and I haven't been able to get offshore to get the pelagics. Right. Um, but yeah, pelagics are the go-to bait. For nice. sure. For sure. All right. And we just keep one claw. You're allowed to keep two because they grow back. You keep one. I pulled this little crusher claw really close to my thumb there. Nice. All right, another, another, another nice one. This claw is not as big. That's a size large claw. But again, I'm not complaining. That's a nice eat right there. Another left-handed claw. It's pretty wild. Never find that many left-handers. Oh my gosh. Jeez, that's crazy. Dude, that's like the most, gro most growth I've ever seen on trap rope in 10 days. I mean, whoa. You almost fall in? That would have been awesome. I thought awesome. that was a fish, and it was a big leaf. <laughs> that, blew, <laughs> that blew by and hit me. That was funny. Oh my God. This is what weighs down your traps. This is why maybe we can't find our trap, Ryan. Oh, maybe because the uh, buoys are weighted went yeah. down? Like this is a lot of weight right here. We've never had that much at the beginning of the season like ever, that. Ever, ever, ever. This usually happens by the, the, the end of season. And luckily this is popping right off and I know this is a full ecosystem. There's little tiny crabs and all kinds of crustaceans in here, but I really don't want this on here. Why is that there like that, you think? I don't know. There's a lot of fresh water in the system right now. You think it's all the nutrients like that comes out, makes everything grow more, kind of like the red tide? We don't know. I, I have no idea. no idea. But it only grows by like, up by the sunlight here. Of course it grows in the traps too, but it takes a lot longer over time for that to happen. But this seems to be happening, again, really quickly and only the first two, three feet of the line. And then once it goes down, there's no more. Yeah, that's because of light. And this is the worst trap I've seen so far. But you don't want it on here because it's going to weigh down your trap and then you're not going to find your buoy. Yeah, which... it's going to weigh down your buoy and then you can't see your buoy no more. Yeah, and you can't catch your crabs. But yeah, it's really weird. I know I just made a mess of the boat, but well, it's okay. It's a fishing boat. Luckily, these gloves are saving my hands right now, too. But we got that off no problem just because that's a new growth came right off, but if I waited any longer, another month or so, that would be impossible to get off. And look at all the growth on this trap. And there's a blue crab. Our blue crabs are very dark from our dark water here. They don't look like those pretty blue crabs up north. <laughs> no. He still has about the blue, he's really cool. A little blue. Now we got a monster. All right. Look at that little nub growing back. Oh, it's so <laughs> cute. Yeah, see. <laughs> Can you push it with your finger? No, I don't want to. It's not going to hurt you. Oh, See, it was it's soft. soft. It's, not, it's, it's not a fully deformed. Yeah, not a, I don't want to touch it. It's not fully it's formed. Gross. You see, but you can see the points on it. It's, it's not like fully formed. I know, no, I know. It's not. It's like touching. It's like touching. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty freaking cool, though. It's pretty gross. It's like the sun is, no, the sun is so strong. It's like touching a, wet, a thing of wet bread. It's gross. Yeah, it yeah. just keeps, every time it molts, it grows out a new shell. But that just goes to show you how healthy and resourceful these crabs are. All right, another buoy coming up. So the tide is so crazy high. We have king tides this time of the year. And the outgoing tide today is just not a lot of water moving in our area. So this trap was literally a foot under the water, but we found it, thank goodness. And there's some movement in here. Oh, I see a crab. Trusty old bait breaker. Nice. Ooh, there's Ooh. A, that's a nice crab right there. Yeah, nice. Let's get these annoying catfish out. All right. Thanks. Nice. That was an easy grab. We're going to see if this is going to be keeper. It's going to be close, actually. Now I look at it. You think? This big yeah. one? Yeah. Well, we got a short thing there. Yeah, it's going to be close. That keeps. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right. All yeah, day. I guess so. All day. Nice. Yay! We got another keep claw. Again, another left-handed crusher claw. That's the crusher. The ones that are tiny with the tiny point right there, those are tearing claws. And usually everybody harvests a crusher claw because it's usually bigger. And you can see right there, big claw, small claw. All right, that was a weird break there. He was a little on the soft side, but we got it done. He's okay. We got dinner, baby. All right, guys, winding down. We checked our last secret trap, secret spot. Can't tell you guys how many claws we get all together. Total of seven. Seven, not terrible. Pretty good average day here in Boynton. Good for around here. That's awesome. No complaints. It's a great appetizer. Yes. So uh, this is a catch and cook. So we're going to show you very important. Now, hold on. The whole thing with cooking these crabs is that so the meat doesn't stick to the shell. Yes. All right, so everything we tell you to do, 
you need to follow so that the meat doesn't stick to the inside of the shell when you crack yes. it. All right. The ones you buy at the store are completely cooked. That's different. That's right. So here we go. First, we're gonna take this All right. cooler. Yes, this is actually my, my daddy's cooler. Pop sizzle for those of you guys that remember. Yeah. Now the crab cooler. All right. So fill it up with some salt water, fresh salt water in there, and. I already have the claws sitting in salt water in my bait pen here. Ooh, it's moving. Crazy. It literally just moved. But it goes right into there. You keep them in the salt water. And as soon as you get home, that is when you cook your claws. So you guys are coming along for an adventure with us tonight when we head home. But all these beautiful claws going right in the water. And again, never, ever put them on ice, especially when they're not cooked like this, when they're fresh, because that will destroy your meat. Yes, no ice. And someone else asked on Facebook today, do you freeze them before you cook them or freeze them after? We never freeze them. <laughs> we did freeze them that one year when we collected a bunch before Connor came home from the Marines. Oh, I guess so, after you, after you cook yeah. them. Yeah, so after you cook them, freeze them. You can do that, yes. But don't. But I recommend don't. <laughs> Fresh is best. Yeah. So seven, seven beautiful claws in there. Let's head over to the boat ramp and meet you guys at the house for the cooking and cleaning, cleaning and cooking portion of this video. <laughs> Whew, all right guys, back at the house. We made it. We made it. And now it's time for the clean and the cook portion. Again, as I told you, everything we do here is designed so that the meat does not stick to the inside of the claw. Dude, All this right. is wild. The claws are moving. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Right, so let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need your claws. Where's those bristle brushes? Ah! <laughs> you're going to get some of these brushes for cleaning the claws. Those are bottle brushes. Bottle brushes, all right. And then we got, got, we got a thing of water, ice water to cool the claws. Mustard sauce, this is... Uh, optional, you could also use, also have uh, some drawn butter or melted butter, vinegar, and we're boiling some water. White distilled vinegar. White, white distilled vinegar. I can't even see the label, there it is. Anyway, all right, so first you're gonna do what, Sizzle? Yes, all right, so these critters live on the bottom. Um, they're filthy, these claws are filthy. You can actually see them on all these, how they're covered in dirt. Every single one has dirt on them and they get in the little crevices and stuff. And then when you smash the shell, you get that dirt in your fresh meat. So it's not good, gross. So what I like to do is clean them up. And this is also part of the process for me when I prepare them for uh, necklaces. So it's kind of like a win-win for me. Oh, look at that, did you see that? It literally just moved. Just clean the claws. It's pretty crazy. They still move back and forth and the claws open if you yeah. break them correctly. But yeah, I just get all in the crevices with this bottle brush, works great. Gets the dirt right out, stretch it open, so on and so forth. Spend close to a minute on each shell and then move on to the next. All right, just a good job cleaning all those crabs. You got that knocked out real quick. Knocked them out. I let, she does that, you know, because I'm a boy. Look at this one. I'll just throw them in the water. It just shows you that like they heal over, like that's a injury. Obviously something grabbed them the there. Yeah, but it's totally healed over, it's solid. Like the meat gets saved, pretty crazy. It's amazing. Yeah, nature's cool. All right, we got this water boiling over here, starting to. Yes, we also separated the size of the claws. Yes. We have three medium-sized ones, and then five, and then yeah, five uh, smaller ones. We actually found one of our missing traps right at the end of the day, by the way, so you didn't see that. And we got one keeper. Yeah, claw. we got some extra claws. Yeah. So small ones we're gonna cook together, basically like you would do fish. Based on the thickness, you cook the size of the fish together. Same with the crabs. Yeah. So the big ones are gonna be like seven, eight minutes, and the little ones are like four or five minutes. Yeah, five minutes, seven, seven and we put, minutes. What do we, we, what do, we do with this vinegar? We got to put the vinegar White in. distilled vinegar is gonna go in right as soon as this is and starts about, blah, blah, blah. Start to boil here, which it is about to, and I like to pour a, a decent amount in, just a splash or two. Brian likes extra. because I like he, actually get a nice flavor. He thinks he gets a flavor to the crab claws, and I'm sure it does, but it also helps just make that claw come, the meat come Remember, right out of the shell. Remember what we're doing here. Yeah, so we'll use a bigger splash All right. of this. All right, this stuff's pretty simple. We're gonna put the big ones in first, and this is Peter. Don't forget, if you wanna buy this one. What size is it again? Uh, jumbo. <laughs> jumbo Peter. Yes. All right, put that one in. Put on eight minutes. And then we just start putting these in along the way. <laughs> As it comes to a boil, typically. All right, guys. Woohoo! All right, so that was about eight minutes. We're gonna take the big ones out first. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but. This is Blitz, by the way. Darcy loves bunnies. Yes, I, I'm sure you guys have seen him on social media. He's not in the film too often these <laughs> yeah. days, but this is Blitz. He's a boy, and I've had him a very long time. He's actually just over ten years old. 
which is huge, which is very old for a bunny. He's got a lot of gray hair on his face. There you go, show him the shelf splits. Gray hair, and he's a lion head, by the way, but he's very active and frisky in our colder weather. He's been great lately. Very cute. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, so you take them out here and you put them in this cold water so they stop cooking. And next, I'm gonna teach you how to crack them, at least the method I use. I think there's about a two billion methods and whatever you use is fine. But I'll show you what I do, and then we're gonna see if what we did worked. Do you want a crab claw, boys? Go. <laughs> All right, here's my, ooh, we're cooking some more crabs over here. Uh, all right, here's our, my patented method. Not really patented, but uh, you know, a lot of guys get all kinds of different cracking things and all sorts. I'm gonna start with a small one so Darcy can eat the big ones because I'm a gentleman. But um, here's a smaller one. Some people, again, some people use crackers. Eat the Peter Claw. What? Eat the Peter Claw. Oh, I will. You want me to eat the Peter? Or it's eat better Peter? for the demonstration. Bigger all claws. Right. Is it? I'm not looking in there, but. All right, let me see. I just double check. Yeah, oh yeah, by far. So we're gonna keep this one, this piece right here, for you to purchase. And this is not only gonna be made by Darcy, but eaten by pudding. All right, so you got three, you got a knuckle, a knuckle, and this piece. These knuckles are delicious. Typically, you can break this knuckle off on your own. Ooh, there we go. All right, of course, the meat didn't come out. But here's what I do. Take a paper towel, just put it over here, and take a nice, just a regular knife from a kitchen, and get a little bang. Now, the key is, you don't wanna hit it too much. If you hit it a bunch of times, it's gonna make a thousand little teeny pieces. Okay, so here we go. Doesn't, doesn't seem to be sticking too bad. There's a nice little piece here. I, I need to probably hit it again, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, look, see, it came right out. Did not stick to the shell. Hmm. Got a little piece of shell in there. I'm telling you, if you do them like this, eat them fresh, you don't even need any mustard or nothing. I mean, go right ahead. People love this mustard sauce. I mean, it's freaking delicious, but you don't need it. Okay, so now I get this part. You can't really break this part. Sometimes you can. So I'm just gonna put it down here, put my thing over it again. Hit that knuckle once, and I'm gonna hit this big part like twice, like once here and maybe once there. All right, here we go. Now here's the part I gotta save for our sizzle. Oh, so now you can see this. Look at this. This came apart really nice, gorgeous. Now in here, this is this this is perfect. In here, there's a piece of cartilage. You can eat this like a chicken wing. Watch this. <laughs> Chew with your mouth closed. No talking. I can't. I have to tell everybody. No talking. No talking. Oh my god. Eat it. So delicious, dudes. You guys just see that? All right. So here, this is gonna be your. This is gonna be your. Uh, here we go. This is gonna be your necklace. Here's Peter from Peter the Claw Crab. This is your necklace. And she's gonna make it into one of those things like we saw. What happens to the rest of the people that want Peter's necklace? They, they, we have plenty of claws, always custom made. You can buy a, a bunch of other claws. This is just very personal. First one gets it, all right? Yep. All right, I'm just gonna finish up this knuckle. Okay, you see, nothing stuck to any of these crabs, any of these, any of these shells. Show, see show, show. I am showing you. Came right apart. Came right, nothing stuck. You can see that big piece I just ate. Nothing. These knuckles are super tender. Mm. Nothing better. Our example even worked out. That's how you do it. Where's my piece? No pieces for you. It's all for me. Mean. Sorry. <laughs> This is, we're talking about crab claws. This is not this is serious business. All right, good job. All right, you guys get the gist of it there. I don't need to do anything because Brian is literally the expert when it comes to the crab claws and eating them, especially. I do like to have crab claws, but you can see why they're so delicious. I don't need to show you. I don't need to eat it, <laughs> nothing like that. But I'm like really excited for this because I like little hobbies like this and making necklaces is so cool. It's so much fun. All right, but I do need to have a stone crab. We need to eat a bunch of them. Yep. We got dinner, well, appetizer, and then we got dinner. But thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure today. So far, so good for the 2021 stone crab season yeah, it's down great. here in Southeast Florida. I can't wait for the next poll. And wait till you see what we're using next time for bait. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We love you. And until our next adventure, follow Bye your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching, catching, baby. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Dude.